Hello everyone, welcome back to Space Flight Simulator. Today we're gonna have another Space Flight Simulator challenge. We're gonna try to make a rover and put it on Mercury. So we're doing a Mercury rover challenge today in Space Flight Simulator. And we're also gonna have to get a rocket part, part of the rocket back to Earth. So you can imagine if the astronauts went and dropped off a rover and the astronauts still have to get home. So we're gonna start with the little astronaut pod because this is where the astronauts are gonna be. Okay, so this is basically this little thing here is the only thing that's gonna return to the surface of Earth. So we do need to build a little rover. So let's prototype a rover design. Okay, the gravity's pretty low on Mercury. So we don't want a rover that's just gonna fall over. Okay, how about something like this, maybe? Let's try it. Okay, this looks pretty good, I think. If we only use the bottom wheels. Oh, no. Okay, so we're gonna have to be careful with it still. But I think this is a good start to our design. Now, the only problem is we can't put parachutes on it because Mercury doesn't have an atmosphere. So how are we gonna slow the rover down? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe something like this. So... If you imagine the Earth's surface is the surface of Mercury, we use this kind of rocket to slow it down like this. So it'll land like this, and then we can turn on the RCS, break these off, and kind of go like this. But the gravity on Mercury is going to be a lot less, so it should survive that trip pretty easily. And then we'll be good. Okay, that's that's actually really good so far. Okay, I'm going to give it some legs too, so that when it lands, it has a little bit extra force to help stop it so it doesn't just break when it hits okay so here's our little lander that's gonna land on mercury um but we also need a way for the astronauts to get back um we're getting there so basically this is our um lander section of it and then this is gonna be our astronaut section so we're not actually gonna bring the astronauts to the surface we're just gonna keep them in orbit and basically they're gonna launch the lander to the surface and we can take them home just from space Okay, here we go for attempt one for our Mercury lander. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Look at the top of that thing. That looks awesome. Here we go. Okay, looks good so far. Okay, first stage. And go. This is our orbital stage, so hopefully this can get us to orbit. I think it will. I mean, it's not super aerodynamic. We have a pretty flat nose, but I think we'll be doing good. Okay, yeah, we're getting into the into outer space. So we're gonna cut the engines and we're just gonna chill for a second while we wait to get up there. We're gonna slowly start bringing the engines back and this will help us get into orbit. And we might need to use a little bit of our next stage, but that should be okay. Cause that's a pretty efficient engine we have in this one. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to use it, but let's hope that it's still enough to get to Mercury. We got a pretty heavy lander section here and boom okay we reached low earth orbit and we still have 73 percent in our transfer stage this is the stage that's going to get us to mercury and hopefully get us back too we'll see we might strand some astronauts i mean we can open the fairing oh yeah okay so it's not super pretty how i designed the rocket but it should be functional let's get our course set for mercury so we're going to zoom out on our map and you will see here's the solar system okay mercury's right here so we might actually have to wait till we're in a transfer window oh it looks like we were okay that's pretty lucky um so we just have to wait till we move around the earth a little bit till we get to here and then it'll give us a direction and a speed we have to achieve okay Okay, so we need to accelerate 1100 meters per second and that will get us on course to Mercury. So we're gonna turn our rocket so we're facing the, the this direction and we will full accelerate. Okay, I think we'll barely make it there. Um, let's see if we got enough to slow down once we get there. 30, 20, 10, okay. Get a little more. Okay, so once it says zero, that means we are going to get inside of Mercury's sphere of influence. So if we check out the map, we will see that we're gonna have an encounter with Mercury at this point in its orbit. We can zoom in on Mercury and see where it exactly is. So we're gonna use the throttle just a tiny bit to get really close to Mercury because that's gonna help us get a good orbit. Okay, we can use RCS too. Right there is pretty perfect. Okay, so now we just basically have to wait until we meet up with Mercury. So we're at Earth right here right now. Uh, we're gonna speed up the time and you will see this is our spaceship. We're kind of leaving Earth behind and we are just chilling in the solar system. The sun's pulling us in, so that's why it kind of curves like this. And it looks like it's gonna take a long time to get there. 
So we're getting closer now. So you can see our ship and Mercury are going to meet up, which is exactly what we want. And if we zoom in enough on Mercury, it should just lock Mercury to the screen. Okay, here we are. We're pretty close to Mercury now. Uh, so we're going to turn ourselves backwards away from where we're currently going. And once we get close enough to Mercury, we're going to just slow down as fast as we can to get us into orbit of Mercury. Okay, we're finally in orbit. That took a while. Here we are <laughs> in orbit. Let's get the orbit a little lower. So if you time warp to the smallest point, um, you can shrink your orbit like this. Okay, perfect. This is a really good orbit, actually. If you zoom out, you can probably see the surface now. There it is. There's Mercury. Now we're going to leave the astronauts in space and we are taking the lander to the surface. So let's let's try it. Okay, so we're going to separate here and here. Oh, I blew the docking port off of the thing, but it should be fine. So now we have control of this. And once again, this part here is going to land us safely. And this is the actual rover. Let's get ready for this. We're going to turn this engine on and we're going to slowly start slowing down with this engine. Okay, so now we are on course to basically crash into the surface. So let's time warp a little ways further. So the astronauts are just chilling in orbit right now. They are not coming down with this. And once again, Mercury has no atmosphere, so we're not actually gonna have to deal with any heating issues. We're just gonna have to deal with the speed that we're gonna be coming in at. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna very gently start slowing down. Okay, so you can see we're going 600 meters per second to the right. So if we slow down that way, we'll just be going straight down, which is a lot better and easier to control. So let's see if we can do this in time. Uh oh, we're getting close to the ground. Oh, there's the ground. Okay, okay. We're bi basically flying straight sideways now. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we should, I think we got enough fuel for this. We don't want to go into the ground yet. We're still slowing down sideways. Okay, here we go. This is perfect. We're going to have just enough fuel for this. Okay, we're basically going straight down now. We actually have RCS. Here we go. We're going for the landing. No! Okay, wait, one of the legs broke off. We're fine, though. We're fine. Ooh, ooh, okay, wait, wait. I think it's still good. Okay, Mercury landing completed. We landed. So, if we break this off and then turn on RCS... Yes! Okay. Look at this. The rover has made it to the surface. We do a little jump here. Because the gravity's so low. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. RCS, save me. The gravity is so low, it's actually really easy to flip over, but also easy to save yourself. There's our landing. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get the astronauts home really quick, and we'll come check on this in a second. Okay, so here we are back in orbit. These are the astronauts that let the rover down. So they have 12% fuel left. I actually don't know if we can get them back with that. Let's wait for the transfer window. I mean, it is going to be lighter, so maybe, maybe, maybe. If we can just crash into the Earth, it'll be okay because we have a heat shield to slow us down. Okay, time warp to the transfer window. We have to accelerate 2,100 meters per second. Let's see. I doubt it, honestly. With our little bit of fuel. Oh, no, we're totally not going to make it. Oh, no. Okay, are they still in orbit of Mercury? No. <laughs> okay, so the astronauts are just going to kind of be chilling around the sun till I eventually send a rescue mission. I will save them. Don't even worry. But we still have our lander, so that's good. I mean, there's no humans here, so this is all a robot. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more Space Flight Simulator challenges, let me know what you want to see in the comments below. If you want me to go save those astronauts, I definitely will. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.